Welcome to The Wrap. I'm Diane King-Hall, here to take you through today's market action. Let's take a look at where a market's close of the day. The S&P 500 fell 14 points, or a little more than a quarter percent. The Dow slid more than 200 points, ending down a half a percent. And the Nasdaq fell 31, a decline of nearly two-tenths of a percent. The Russell 2000 lost 16 on a percent basis, the biggest laggard of the session, down more than three-quarters of a percent. Now, taking a look at some of the leading and lagging sectors on the day. We'll start with the leaders. Healthcare led the gains on the plus side, followed by industrials. Tech had a little advance. On the flip side, energy was the biggest laggard, followed by utilities and materials. Let's take a look at some more stocks on the move. Target saw significant weakness today, slumping 8% after reporting earnings that missed expectations this morning. The company cited weak demand for discretionary goods, weighing heavily on a revenue growth. The CEO called out inflation being difficult for its consumers. The management team is aiming to bring same-store sales back to positive territory in the second quarter. Lululemon closed down 7% after the company announced its chief product officer is leaving the company. The news raised concerns for analysts about Lululemon's product assortment and its path for revenue growth. The athleisure company said they do not plan to replace the role. And NVIDIA beat expectations with its latest quarterly report card. Adjusted EPS came in at 612 a share and revenue topped $26 billion. Both numbers were better than expected. And the company also announced a 10 for 1 stock split. Let's take a look at what to watch for tomorrow. The weekly jobless claims begins tomorrow's economic data, followed by PMI composite flash and new home sales. On the earnings front, BJ's Wholesale Club and Ralph Lauren report earnings pre-market, followed by Intuit, Raw Stores, and Jackers. That's in the post-market. That'll do it for The Wrap. I'm Diane King-Hall. Remember to tune in 24-7 to schwabnetwork.com.